Perhaps the most challenging aspect of using the factoring method, a difference of two squares, is understanding when this method may be applied. In this video, we'll see how to factor the expression 121 minus 16y squared using this method, and how we can spot that this method will work in an example like this one. First of all, the difference of squares method works exactly when its name says it does. When we're looking at a difference, that's two terms subtracted one from another, and it's a difference of two squares. In other words, each of the two terms, which is being subtracted, must be a perfect square of something. 121, in this example, is a perfect square because it's equal to 11 times 11. Likewise, 16y squared is a perfect square because its coefficient, 16, is a perfect square 4 times 4, and its variable factor, y squared, is also a perfect square, being y times y. So 16y squared is in fact a perfect square because it's 4y times 4y. So the difference of squares method can be used at any time to factor a two-term expression which is a subtraction of one perfect square minus another perfect square. Because that's the kind of expression we have here, we can use the difference of squares method to factor it. The second step, and we've already done this, is to identify for each of the two terms what is the square root. In other words, answer the question, of what is this term a perfect square? So 121, because it's equal to 11 times 11, has as its square root the number 11. Likewise, 16y squared, because it's equal to 4y times 4y, has as its square root the expression 4y. And it's those square roots, 11 and 4y, which are going to form the building blocks of how we factor 121 minus 16y squared. What we do is set up a product of two factors, and in one of those factors is the sum of the two square roots, and the other of those factors is the difference of those two square roots. So we factor it as the sum times the difference. So the first term in those sums and differences will be the first of our square roots, 11. So we'll place 11 in our first term. And the second term is the second of our square roots, which is 4y. So we'll place 4y in the other terms. And we've now factored 121 minus 16y squared as the product of the sum of the square roots of those terms times the difference of the square roots of those terms, the quantity 11 plus 4y times the quantity 11 minus 4y. Remember, as with any factorization problem, you can and should check your answer by multiplying your work back out. If you were to multiply this product of two binomials back out, you'll notice that what happens is that the terms in the middle of the FOIL, the O term and the I term, cancel one another out, leaving you only with 121 from the 11 times the 11, and minus 16y squared from the plus 4y times the minus 4y. So the difference of squares method may be used any time you are trying to factor an expression which is one perfect square minus another perfect square. Once you recognize that that's the kind of expression you're factoring, you can factor it as a product of the sum of the square roots of those terms times the difference of the square roots of those two terms.